so for this canned food, we got more. The TU officer. Every time Mr. Perry pokes, pesters, bothers. Look at that. That is pathetic. So that's how we get your TU guy. And Mike was drugged. Because if I don't have money, that's what happens. If you're in my life, you get more. You got your code words, Muffin Man, Lucius. I mean, that's neat, right names. Monique, who's Monique? Where's she right now? Yeah, if you wanna give us more, we'll take it. You pay for it. Millions of dollars for your cover-up got us, you know, you starve me. Gets us intel. You bought us intel. And a lot of it. That's Sanjay. Shut it off. He said, "Let it go for a while. Let, just, let, just let it go." Let's show the world what they're doing to you. Always gets us more intel because it pisses people off. Right, bald fat Calvin. This from the murder frame up. I mean, we got the murder frame up because you guys do this. She's too fat. God. Beverly, Renee, Blankenship, Desiree, Richard, McGee. <clears throat> he trafficked her. He sold her to some guy in Houston. And he keeps going around telling everybody, I got a house for her. She doesn't have to live in her car. I'm going to take the car. And then, what else? The guy's like, yeah, that's a murder trap. She wasn't born yesterday. He has a dream. Harry has a dream and a fantasy. Like all serial killers do. He runs through his mind. I can't do anything with that. He runs through his mind, but like he said it. I believe him to be a necrophiliac. I think he likes to do weird shit that living women will not do. I think that he's running a fantasy through his head that he's gonna kill Cynthia and then have sex with her dead body. And I, that's not happening in my jurisdiction. And then you murdered him. And then we found out Mike was drunk and he didn't do it. Because when you take my money, you make me broke. And you bother me all fucking day. 
you threaten and you harass, we always get more intel. And you guys all run around, how'd she find him? Oh my god, what had she named? She wasn't supposed to know about that. And now we got the TU guy who pulled me over. Because he, you guys called him and said, here's the make and model of our car, which we're not supposed to know a damn thing about. But we do. Because we're stalking. It's a felony. We're going to do it anyway. And then um, you call him, and I'm sitting at the, at the parking lot exit. And my guy goes, there's your guy right there. What you just heard, that's him. Just sit there for a minute. He's out there and watch the whole thing. Just hang there for a minute. Okay, now go. So I go, and sure as shit, he pulls out right behind me, ran my tags, which is illegal, by the way. It's illegal for him to run my tags. And then calls you and gives you the information. And now everybody's all, oh my God, there's a loan. There was, a, there was money lent to me on my car. And actually, the rest of it's not your business, is it? Yeah, nosy body Connie Curry with no life. Just the same as her. You gotta go out with her. Yep, I can't do anything with that either. Thanks for the tuna. Appreciate it. That's why you're told on and we're, you got leaks that we don't. This isn't normal to do this to people anymore. Anyway. It's making a lot of people very uncomfortable. So we find out before, not after. We talked about you guys having me pulled over all day yesterday. You know why we talked about it? Because you talked about it. Didn't ya? So who do you think you're fooling? We think that is funny as hell. And you think you're fooling anybody. You're not fooling anybody. So this is how one way Mr. Perry makes me broke. Earlier, I filmed both cam, both phones. And, uh, <clears throat> completely different things. Did two different things. So, it is illegal access and use of an electronic device that doesn't belong to you. Uh, I mean, you're going to jail. I don't know, why you're, Why do you think we're getting all this stuff beforehand? You, you think you're getting away with it. We're not sure why you think that. I mean, we quote you guys every day. We are like, I don't know. If we're quoting him every day, why does he think he's getting away with something? You got, you know, you think there's your shovel, dig away. We don't know what the hell's. I guess if you got Huntington's and you're delusional because you got Huntington's, uh, today we hear somebody who talked to your family. They said not only is his Huntington's causing a problem, some of the medication he's taking for the Huntington's is also causing a problem. So he's just not right in the head. He thinks a lot of things. None of it's real. It's embarrassing. So, when you go running around, how'd she find out? How did she do? Um, this right here, if I'm broke, we get a lot of intel. The more broke I am, don't we? The more you contact me, the more we get. The more problems you cause, the more we get. You're too creepy to cause too many problems. Everybody wants you to get the fuck out. We're all sick of you. You sold me, and I'm not for sale. It's illegal to sell people. It comes with a life sentence. You hacked me, that's illegal. You're stalking me, that's a felony. All of that shit is felony. You're a tampering with a witness. You shouldn't contact me at all. You need to go through your fucking attorney. Dumb dumb. So don't run around and go, how did you get? Who's Lucius? Who's bald fat Calvin to you? Who is that? Mr. Perry? Delusion of whack job? Huh? You sit there by yourself. Old and shriveled up with a doll. Play with little girl toys. We hear you play with little girl toys while you sit and watch TV and pretend you have a love life. All by yourself. A lot of people don't want to end up like you and do what you do. It's weirdo. It's embarrassing. So we get the intel, not you. We get the help with information, not you. Everybody hates your guts. When you cause me a problem, when you take my money, when you, when I don't, you know, when I'm broke, Longer Mike's in jail, the longer you do all this shit, the more we've gotten. Millions of dollars bought us intel. It didn't get you a cover-up. You guys have never had been caught this much, have you? Beverly's worried about her shoes. Beverly said, I sure wish she had worn the, the, those other shoes. Like, who the fuck is Beverly and how does she know what shoes I have? Yeah, ran the tags, that's illegal to do that. 
<clears throat> Figured out he knew where I was because you told him from hacking my phone. Got to make her broke. I'm going to starve her. Tell she lies. Okay, so you get charged with deprivation of food and shelter with intent to coerce. Interference with commerce. You too, Calvin. With intent to coerce. Interference with commerce. Contracts with intent to coerce. You go to jail. Our guys will do it. They've been doing it. Despite all your great efforts to cover everything up, they're the ones digging up the shit. Okay, we're not doing that because we're bored. They intend to use it to push you in jail. So, there's your shovel. Dig away, Princess Cuckoo Bird. Okay, so that's one of three videos that I took tonight. Uh, I mean, they literally let me make enough for tuna. Literally. Mr. Perry has told everybody... He intends to deprive me of food and shelter within, you know, to coerce. He wants, he has me sold. He's a, he's a human trafficker. And, uh, we think he's also a necrophiliac. Um, there's a, it's like a sex murder type deal. So, I think we've been over this. These guys are in sex trafficking, human trafficking, drug trafficking, organized crime. And uh, they take your personal documents, forge your doc documents to illegally access your financial matters, <coughs> your banking. Uh, we know they talk to people at my school. We've, we've talked to people at my school about you talking to people at my school. Same with DoorDash. DoorDash was very, very upset to find out that their app is being used for criminal activity, just so you know. S same with our Upworks. Because normally what happens is my we talk about what we're going to do before I do it, so they get everything all set up before I move forward. Just the same way with the cop yesterday. You illegally accessed my phone. You illegally accessed my Dasher app. It's an electronic device. You had someone order food at Tulsa University. Someone you knew. Get around an algorithm that chooses drivers randomly, and they get me. I take the food. I'm coming out of the parking lot. Just before I pull out of the parking lot, uh, actually, as I was taking the food to the, to the person, getting ready to take the food to the person's door, my guys tell me, listen to this. They just called in the make and model of your car. I'm not sure exactly who they called, but you're fixing to get pulled over again. So keep your eyes open. And I was like, oh, God, here we go again. Uh, well, we did talk about it all day because they were talking about it all day. They were talking about the murder frame up all day. They were talking about all that stuff all day. We got it. We got it all. We talked about it. I, I said in a podcast, Mr. Perry has threatened every day to take my car away from me with intent to coerce. Mi let me say it again. It's July 5th, 2023. Charles Perry has threatened me, Cynthia Ortiz, every day for years, expressing intent to deprive me of food and shelter, interfere with contracts and commerce, and take my car to coerce me into being trafficked. Very serious crimes. He's done it every day for years. Get me kicked out of my home. Uh, everything, all of that's illegal. We've quoted these people on a daily basis all day long for years. The intel that our guys get in. We've talked about it and talked about it and talk, he's caught. Mr. Perry is so mentally ill that even though we're quoting him, he still doesn't understand that that means he's caught in very serious crime. This guy goes around telling people Watching women in the privacy of their home against their will without their consent is a relationship that he thinks that's a romance. But when we quote him every day, there's no real cops. Okay, sure. That is coming from aliens and shapeshifters, he's actually said. So watching a woman in the privacy of her home against her will without her consent, that's a date to him. But even though we quote him every day, planning a very specific crime, our information is very detailed, he thinks there's no cops. Getting that information from him to me. That is aliens and shapeshifters. Wow. 
So just so you know, there was a testimony given in a venue. I'm not going to tell you exactly what the venue was. But a gentleman was asked, when is the last time you saw Mr. Perry in Lubbock? And he said, it's been a while. And he goes, but, well, sir, I believe that you stated for the record that you are close friends with him. And he said, I am. And he said, but you haven't seen him in a couple of years, correct? I have not. And when's the last time you saw him in Lubbock with his wife, Jacqueline, and his family, his kids, Jordan and Matthew? Even longer. But, sir, you stated for the record that you're very close friends with him. So, and he goes, I am, but you're right. I have not seen him in a while. Where is he? And he said, so you're stating that you're close friends with him, but you don't know where he is. You're close friends with him. You're willing to vouch for his character. You think he's a really good guy. Yes. But you haven't seen him in a couple of years, you state. And he's, he said, I have not. Where is he? And he said, sir, he's been in Oklahoma stalking a woman that he's trying to sell. He's involved in human trafficking. And the man said, I'm having a hard time believing you. And he said, I'm going to tell you one more time, sir. When is the last time you saw him in Lubbock with his family? A couple of years? At least a couple of years, he said. So you're not with him. You're not sitting next to him. You don't know what he's doing. You had to ask me what he's doing. So I would state, for the record, your friendship is not as close as you thought. And maybe you don't know Mr. Perry as well as you thought you knew Mr. Perry. Is that correct or not? And the man had to agree. He didn't have a choice. Okay. So that's going on while you're going around going, there's no cops. Okay. But I have a relationship with a woman on TV who's tried 11 times to get a protective order or an injective order, and I have to buy my way out. She, you, nobody's holding your hand. You're all by yourself. I will tell you that some of your leaks, after the comments of yesterday, our guys, <clears throat> our guys tell me, he goes, I will tell you this. There's a slew of people that don't want to end up old and shriveled up, sitting there, you know, acting like a little pussy, playing with little girl toys, and all by himself, getting told on. Spending a lot of, spending millions of dollars to buy us intel. There's a whole a lot of people don't want to be like him and end up like him. So, what the guy said yesterday about, I think some of the leaks might be Gen X and Gen Y. The, the, the equality is very popular. The, the Me Too movement is very popular. They don't think like our, 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 our uh, grandparents think or our, our parents think. A whole different way of thinking. This shit is not okay. Not now. Not in the generations that are younger. So that might be some of your leaks right there. They want to be cool. They want to be spies. They want to be, um, I believe in equality. We don't mistreat women and children. We don't do it. There's no discrimination. That's not tolerated. So that might be some of the leaks. We don't do we don't do women like that. So I don't know. These guys are old farts all alone. None of them have a girlfriend. Well, I want to have a girlfriend, so I'm not going to act like them. Uh, I'm not. I don't want to be part of the weirdos. I don't. I don't want to be part of the creepies. So I'm not. I mean, I'll help whoever's going to make that stop. So you have leaks we don't. We're quoting you. You're not quoting us. We can get information at the snap of a finger. Nobody will call you back. You're too stupid. He says it once. He said, I said, <clears throat> her privacy is not to be invaded. You, she's not to be broken. You don't contact her or her family in any way, shape, or form. At no time did she have to lie, and at no time did she have to be trafficked. And that's not your car. And that's not your phone. And we're getting the intel you're not. And the more you mean you get to her, the more we get. Your Christmas deal didn't work. You getting her kicked out of her apartment didn't work. You getting her kicked out of her hotel didn't work. You, I mean, everything you've tried to do to make her, to coerce her, gave us more evidence against you. We're fixing to arrest you. I said give it back and get the fuck out, didn't I? You owe illegal debt, pay that. She's not going to take your bribe and go to your house of hell where I'll be murdered. I mean, she'll be murdered. <clears throat> I'm quoting my guy. <clears throat> so if I have to say, I mean, the thing Mr. Perry, most everybody, most everybody's looking forward to almost better, more than anything else is not having to repeat themselves for you. Once you're in jail, no more problems, no more drama, no more sadness, no more loss, no more creepy Chucky, 
uh, hanging around where he's not wanted and not invited. No more pressure, no more burden, no more imposition, and best of all, no more repeat. I've worked all my life with mostly men. I'm 54. I'm not 20. Most of my life with mostly men, I've never in my life had to repeat myself this much. It's very irritating. It's like grinding nails on a chalkboard that you got to say the same thing and the person can't get it. He doesn't understand. Now, I don't mean that hints. I mean how disgusting your conduct is to everybody else, making it easier for us to get intel and nobody will help you, will they? You're a rejected fail. What if your kids acted like you? Yeah, it's embarrassing. Okay, so my guy's like, uh, she's, you're going to starve her until she lies, really? You'll pay for that. You pay millions of dollars for a cover-up that didn't get you a cover-up. It gets us intel. You'll pay for that if you do that to her. I'll get her all kinds of shit, names and crap. Uh, you don't, you don't, uh, you take her money. You give back what you took already. You don't invade her privacy. You don't contact her and her family. That's inappropriate. Go through your attorney. And, uh, or I'm going to kick your criminal ass like it's not been kicked before. If you have a problem with that, go to Roswell. Stand on that hill and see if the aliens will talk to you. Yeah, no real cops, even though we quote you every fucking day. But the relationship that you watch on TV and pretend and imagine, it's not real to me. I don't like you. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's not, that's real. Um, you're wackier than they, I mean, they talk to your family. Your family said not only is he ha struggling uh, w mentally with the disease, but the drugs that he takes to treat the disease are also causing him some problems. Yeah. Okay, so we've talked. We, I mean, everybody's checking into this shit. Uh, I don't think they got that, actually, by talking to your family. I think there is, they talked to somebody who talked to your family. E either way, that, may, that does make sense. Huntington's disease causes hallucinations, delusion, psychosis, and impaired cognitive reasoning, right? Okay, M means you can't do cause and effect before and after and same and different. We're all like, you're caught, dumb dumb. I do it more. When you do that, you get caught more. I do it more. When you take my money, when you contact me, when you invade my privacy, it pisses off your leaks, it pisses off my guys, it pisses off everybody, and then we always get more. And then you paid millions of dollars for us to get intel. You're paying for it, dumb dumb. I do it more. I know. I do it more. I don't care. I can do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. When you get arrested, we'll hear you say that then. Okay? So, uh, I, I, I got this. I got the, what I just talked about. The TU guy. I'm sitting. I'm coming out the parking lot. I look across the street at the stop sign as a, as a cop. My guy goes, that's your, that's your boy right there. Just sit right there. Just sit where you are. Don't move. So I'm sitting there. And he goes, is he pulling out? I said, nope. And he goes, just sit there for a minute. Just hang. So I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there. And he goes, now go. As soon as I pull out, he goes, <clears throat> ran my plates. Didn't you? Which is illegal. Um... Using taxpayer-funded resources for your personal profit and gain is illegal. Using a private entity to run somebody's tags who's not committing any crime at all is illegal. Calling up the sex trafficker, stalker, and giving it to that person, that's illegal. What's the legitimate reason you need that? There's not one. You threatened it, and you threatened it, and you threatened it, and you threatened it, and then you did it. And so we got another, well, that's another charge. That's another, I told you. So that cop has a wiretap order on him now. Yeah. Is he happy about that? I don't know. We're happy. One more to the party. And, uh, oh, my guy says, I'm going to charge them for each, each and every one of them that was involved in that incident right there. That one incident, that one event. Each and every person involved in that is going to get about 20 charges. So good luck to y'all on that. All right. So this is two phones at the same period of time doing two completely different things. Same DoorDash account. Since July 5th, 2020.
23. I've actually logged off of DoorDash on the other phone, but as you can see, this phone's still running. See the red thing going across the top? It's still going. The other one's logged off. We're just letting it run for a while. It's logged. I've logged off. So we're just going to wait and see what it shows. Having me been logged off on a different phone. So it's still running because it shows me driving. It shows the arrow where I'm driving, the GPS arrow. Yeah, but it's not, it's logged off on a different phone. So it is 7.40, and I have, I'm going to screenshot the other phone. It'll be in Dropbox, July 5th, 2023. Now it's 7.41, and we got two different phones going again, showing two different things. 7.41, July 5th, 
north on South Yale Avenue toward East 21st Street. Okay, now as you can see, it's 7.43. One phone shows that I'm out of my zone. Because it's... I, who knows who's... I don't know. It's the same account. The other shows, I just picked up an order at Wingstop at 21st and Yale. Two different phones doing two different things. Same Dasher account. In 1,000 feet, turn right. One I have just arrived at Wingstop. I got an order. The other phone still has me. I logged off and logged back on. It still has me in the Midtown area out of my zone. So, yeah, that's why I'm broke all the time. That's what they do. Human traffickers can't traffic somebody that has money, so they try to make me starve. It's called deprivation of food and shelter with intent to coerce. Interference with commerce with intent to coerce. Interference with contracts with intent to coerce. Grand larceny with intent to coerce. Mr. Perry is going to be charged with every time he does this. So there's that. Every day that I'm broke, always find out what they, you know, we get more intel. Now, oh, now it's caught up. When I said that, when I start talking about charges, notice how that all of a sudden it, caught, it changed. Yep. Okay. There's that. Okay, so you can see uh, that one did. I was uh, actually dashing in downtown Tulsa, further north. One phone still has me dashing in midtown, tells me I'm outside of the zone. The other, I'm dashing in downtown Tulsa, further north, get an order, pick it up, come back, and until I said, you're going to get charged with deprivation of food and shelter with intent to coerce illegal access and use of an electronic device. <clears throat> interference with commerce with intent to coerce interference with contracts with it's a coercion charge um, I think coercion is the charge the other things are like the act that you did to coerce me you want to take my card that's going to be added if you take well the first one you did they already got you on that one you, you, inter, you know, what did you just say you want to take have me pulled over get the information on my car make it where I can't pay my insurance wait until that cancels then pull me over again then take the car you said you intend to take my car to coerce me to be trafficked and you're caught we know we've already we've, we've all talked about it and talked about it and talked about it and talked about it you sit there and you watch TV and you pretend you have a love life and you're all by yourself all shriveled up and old playing with a little girl toy you got a doll here. Yeah, what, if, what if your kids acted like you? Oh my God! So uh, we've it's, it's duly noted for the record, and we because you do when I'm broke, we find out things like uh, Mr. Perry wants have wants to have Cynthia arrested on harassment again, and he's gonna have Ted talk her into being trafficked. We got that before you did it. We found out you all we talked all day about you having me pulled over. The only way the TU guy could know where I was, you called it in. We heard you call it in. I go take the food to the door, come back to my car, pull out to the edge of the parking lot, right up to the street. And my guy goes, there he is, right there. Wait. Don't just pull out. Wait. Okay, keep waiting. Okay, keep waiting a little longer. Yep, stay there. Just stay right where you're at. Don't move. Okay, now go. So... All of that, all of that that you do, we knew. We knew exactly what he was doing. And today we heard you talking about what the information was that he gave you illegally. He's already got a wiretap order on his phones, all of them. And uh, now he's part of the investigation. So it's real to watch a woman on TV against her will in the privacy of her home and pretend that's a love life, even though she doesn't even like you. But it's not real. The cops that are investigating you, those aren't real. That's at Roswell Aliens and Shapeshifters. Literally, that's what Mr. Perry thinks. We have no words for that. None, none at all. 
Doesn't know he's caught. We've told him over and over. And you got to repeat yourself for this guy, and we all can't stand that. We're all like, the best thing might be out of this whole deal when he's finally arrested, he's creepy and he causes too many problems. And everybody wants them gone, all of them. We're getting their information, they're not. Our guys won't call him back. Nobody will tell them. It's a need to know. They don't know who it is. They've called everywhere. They've called NYPD. They call Arizona. They call El Paso. And we know that. You think that didn't get back to our guys? Of course it did. Maybe some of them are in El Paso. Some of them are in Arizona. Some You don't know. There's 40 of them. So uh, what I will tell you is they don't like you. And they fucking hate what you're doing to me. And the, the more broke I am and the more you pester the more motivated they are to get more in, get more uh, intel, get more evidence, and use it to put you in jail. They're already used some of it for probable cause to get a wiretap order. You can't use somebody's phone and then have them go to a certain place where you can have them pulled over and get information off the tag. That guy's not a cop. He's TU police. That's not police. That's a privately funded police department, isn't it? Yeah, you don't run tags for other people. You also don't use taxpayer-funded resources to pull a tag so you can stalk somebody. Lucky got very upset with you guys for doing that to me. He did not like it. You know how we know? He told our guys, I don't like it. I'm busy. I'm trying to fight crime. Not be his bitch. Look, Lucky wouldn't be your bitch, right? He aspired to better for himself and his kids, so, to live a life that, that his family could be proud of, not, the best I can do is sit around and be a sex weirdo, and anybody helps me to get them out, that's my bitch. Right? Okay. So you can see, yeah, you don't get to use a, illegally use my dasher, my phone, and my dasher app. Calvin to get me over here to have me pulled over it was jinx the day before and we caught you on that I texted my attorney they got jinx ready to pull me over we got broken arrow maybe testifying falsely in a court of law did to you know oh we weren't asked to pull her over well but she never said you were she said Perry talked about asking you to she never said you were, he actually asked you to uh-huh so you got caught on that. When I'm broke, when you contact me, when you invade my privacy, they told you to comply with the law. And so cut that the fuck out. We always get more. It's been that way every single day for 10 years. So after 10 years, don't you think he's about to wrap it up? Except you, 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 you keep bringing new people in. So then they get start investigating that new guy you just brought in. So it expands things. Yeah. But there's no real like, cops. Just watching TV like John Hinckley Jr., that's, you know, whack, talk about whack job. Okay, so then here's the next one. It, it, as you, if you notice, once I started talking about charges, all of a sudden it, it catches up. The whole other time, I don't make any money because they'll jam up my DoorDash. When I was at the club, they ran all the customers off. There wouldn't be anybody in there. We told you to make that right with Paul, didn't we? You like going around and fucking everybody over, and then you can't figure out why people tell on you. We all want you gone. We don't want you here. Nobody invited you here. And you're caught. Trafficking. You're caught. You're fucking caught. So, everybody else knows you're caught. Why don't you know you're caught? People have talked about your mental status not being right because you act like you don't know you're caught and everybody else knows you're caught. Yeah, you, 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 you piss people off. Okay, this is the other phone. It's the same period of time. 741C. So we'll let that one run. Now it's 741. And we've got two different phones going again, showing two different things. 741, July 5th, 2023. Okay, remember the other one had me in Midtown, but outside Midtown Zone. Well, look where I am right here. I'm in Midtown, headed to North... Uh, North Tulsa.
Head north on South Yale Avenue toward East 21st Street. Okay, now as you can see at 743, one phone shows that I'm out of my zone. Because it's, I, who knows who's, I don't know. It's the same account. The other shows, I just picked up an order at Wingstop at 21st and Yale. Two different phones doing two different things. Same Dasher account. In 1,000 feet, turn right. It's not playing. Alright, he jammed that up too, so I gotta start all over. Right, now it's 741. And we got two different phones going again, showing two different things. 741, July 5th, 2023. Head north on South Yale Avenue toward East 21st Street. Okay, now as you can see at 743, one phone shows that I'm out of my zone. Because it's, I, who knows who's, I don't know. It's the same account. The other shows, I just picked up an order at Wingstop at 21st and Yale. Two different phones doing two different things. Same Dasher account. In 1,000 feet, turn right. Turn right, then you will arrive at your destination. You have arrived. So, as you can see, um, 744 on July 5th, 2023, one I have just arrived at Wingstop. I got an order. The other phone still has me. I logged off and logged back on. It still has me in the Midtown area out of my zone. So, yeah, that's why I broke all the time. That's what they do. Human traffickers can't traffic somebody that has money, so they try to make me starve. It's called deprivation of food and shelter with intent to coerce. Interference with commerce with intent to coerce. Interference with contracts with intent to coerce. Grand larceny with intent to coerce. Mr. Perry is going to be charged with every time he does this. So there's that. Every day that I'm broke, 
when we find out what they, you know, we get more intel. Now, oh, now it's caught up. When I said that, when I start talking about charges, notice how that all of a sudden it, caught, it changed. Yep. Okay, there's that. Okay, so you can see two different phones. <clears throat> One phone I was in Midtown. The other phone I had logged off and then logged back on with this one, the one you can see here. The other phone was still showing me door dashing in Midtown. And it didn't change to this until right at the end. You can see it as soon as I started talking about criminal charges. Okay, so whatever the information that the, the Tulsa University officer got off my car was illegally obtained and it is fruit of the poisonous or whatever it is illegally obtained you can't use it but as it turns out there's a uh i had to get a loan on the car i don't live at the address that's on the um tags and when you have a stalker you don't have to give your real address. Actually, I have a protected address through the state of Oklahoma Attorney General's office. And it is illegal for anyone to give you the address associated with that. Mr. Perry is a stalker. Stalking is a felony. You're going to jail. He's into human trafficking and organized crime. He killed a cop. Um, you can't beat somebody to death and have not a mark on you. And uh, while you're uh, dying of opioid overdose... So we said that, if you remember, in January 2020. We said it again in March 2020. It was confirmed in depositions that hadn't even been taken yet by first responders in May. When you take my money, when you invade my privacy, when you cause me a problem, when you go creepy, all of a sudden everything is different and you retards act like you don't know that. We're not sure what to think. It's so easy, it's not fair. We quoted you all day yesterday and all day today. What, who's getting that? And who's getting it to me? Oh, shapeshifters and aliens. But your TV show like John Hinckley Jr. watched Jodie Foster and thought that was a romance? Yeah, what? you're no different. That's real? No, it's not real. Nobody's holding your hand. You're by yourself. You're such a creepster. I don't know how you don't have women throwing themselves at you, starving women to death, beating women down, because you think, you know, uh, we're going to starve her. Why doesn't she like me? I'm going to take her car from her. I'm going to get her kicked out of her house. Why doesn't she like me? Wow. Fruit Loop. You need to go to the funny farm. So we have this. My address is not your concern. It was inappropriate for that man to run my tags. He's not a cop. He's pri privately funded. And he was sitting there waiting for me. That's why they told me, sit and wait. Don't move. Stay there. Just sit right there. We're watching him. We're sitting here watching him. Just sit right there. That'll go with the recording we have. Them calling in your car. You got a girl coming up with XYZ car to tee you. Pull her over. Get her tags and give us the information. We heard you talking about it. Well, you shouldn't have my car information. Steve Massingale doesn't. He's not stalking me. You are. Why are you in Oklahoma, dum dum? Why are you here? Why are you bothering me constantly? Why? When when you do it to me, you get caught. You did all day. I know we ran the tags, and I know you discussed what the tag said. We heard you. When you contact me, when you peep on me, when you hack me, when you invade my privacy, when I'm broke, and the longer Mike's in jail, <clears throat> the more we get, we're getting it to put you in jail. You need to be in jail. You're infringing on my rights and like a motherfucker, and you're pissing people off that have a lot of power. It's different when you do the crime to me. You are caught, dum dum. We know about the trafficking. We know about what you did, the hacking. We know about the illegal pullovers, lists of them. We know about the unlawful use of taxpayer resources for your personal profit and gain. You're caught when you do it to me. Act like you fucking understand what people say. Your guy calls you a poking, peeping, pink pen, a pathetic parrot. Because you disgust even your own people. So, when you contact me, we always get more. We heard that. When I'm broke, we always get more. 
We got all. What if your kids acted like you? Jesus. So we talked. We're like we. T he did it anyway. We talked about it all fucking day. He threatened it all fucking day. Go work. I'm gonna have you pulled over. Go work. I'm gonna have you pulled over. Forty times the night before he typed that in my phone. Wow. I mean, sometimes you'll see an email that there's a word that's not supposed to be there. I have to do a correction. He types that shit in there. Sometimes he changes the whole content of the email. Mr. Perry, when you contact me, you get caught. Nothing else. You're fucking rejected. You give me the creeps. You make my skin crawl. You, your delusion is making us vomit. You need to control yourself. Control yourself. Your conduct is inappropriate. If you want to contact me, go through your attorney. What you're doing is very disturbed and inappropriate. You're making, all of you guys make people uncomfortable. That's why we get, you got leaks? We don't have leaks. Look at this. Charles Perry wanted to do the harassment arrest and have Ted Hogan talk her into doing what she doesn't want to do. Have Ted coerce her. He's used everybody. The guy's basically saying, Charles has used every person in her life to try to coerce her to do or say something she does not want to do i said no one time should do it one thing we cannot wait for your arrest we don't have to repeat ourselves all the fucking time for the little stupid who can't get it the first we say it once dumb dumb get a special education teacher get a special education teacher don't bother me with your dumb i can't handle it I can't, I fucking can't handle stupid. Can't do it. That's not my training. That's not my expertise. I'm not a fucking nurse. I don't even want to be a nurse. Get somebody to help you. It's not my problem, is it? I mean, we do this every day. You fuck with me, we get more. You fuck with me, we get more. You get caught over and over all damn day doing some kind of crime to me. And yet you just keep doing it. Didn't get any more stupid than you. I mean, I, it's embarrassing to me you're that dumb. Like, who the fuck is that stupid? You embarrass the hell out of me. I wouldn't walk in a room with you for millions. So, uh, Jesus. What if your kids acted like you? Alright, so this, this, this person is basically saying, um... He's got her co-workers. They write scripts up for her co-workers and make them do role-playing to practice for when she gets to work. All the bullshit they're supposed to say to her to coerce her. Yeah, they love that. The younger generation is into your weirdo problem. Golly. Who the fuck does shit like that? Who th whoever thought that up, I cannot wait to meet you. You're a fucking idiot. You are, oh my God. We don't even know what to say. You guys fucking pathetic. Why aren't the women just throwing themselves at y'all? A, a lot of the leaks, we, after what the guy said, I could, I, here's what I think is going on with the leaks. Is you've got Generation X and Y, that equality is the popular thing. Just discrimination is out. And uh, the Me Too movement is popular. And sure shit, the spy thing is popular. I want to be a part of the spy thing that actually, these guys actually have real love lives with real women and real sex. Not this pretend shit Mr. Perry does. Sitting all shriveled up, old fart, by himself, playing with little girl toys, pretending. How embarrassing. I don't want to end up like that, doing what he does. So I'm not going to do what he does. I'll help, put your, I'll, I'll help the, the guys putting a stop to it. I'm going to help them. I'm going to be on the cool people side, not the weirdo side. So, he's basically, that was somebody's speculation. I'm not told who the leaks are, so I don't know who's who and what and age and all that. So, I don't know. But my guy says today, he goes, I'll tell you this. Uh, first of all, they have a problem with the way that you're being treated. They, we don't treat women like that. We just don't do it. We're, we've been wanting this stopped for a long time. These guys have beat down citizens in Oklahoma for decades. And we are tired of it. We're sick of it. It's about time somebody got them. We're sick of that shit here. And that's before I got here, by the way, David. You be cruel to people. Pretty soon you're going to overdo it. Calvin, you are hated, man. 
I mean you. They uh, top of the list of hated bitches. You, Calvin. Hate your people. Hate your guts, like a with a passion. Hate your guts, and uh, Charles is like the creepy one and the weird one. Everybody just is like, ugh. He gives me the heebie-jeebies. I fucking hate. I got shit to do, and that bitch comes in here, and I gotta drop everything I'm doing and go do something weird for him, and I don't like it. So, uh, you're the weirdo club. Yeah, it's not normal to do what you guys do. So. Our, my guys like they don't, people don't like it i mean they don't like what they're doing and they don't want to end up like them you know they, we got real women real that love us and they can't you know can't keep their hands off of us and we have real sex we don't sit and watch tv and imagine and pretend we got the real thing imperial will never have that he will never have it so uh, they everyone can see that you don't get rejected for 10 years and think that, well, if I just starve her and take her in, there's, there's nothing. Uh, the only thing I'm better than is a fucking dumpster. Now then, she'll, if I make her life so bad, all she has is a dumpster, a jail cell, or me. Then she'll like me. Oh my, that's not how you get a woman to like you, dumb dumb. Somebody said that. You're ca the guy's caught. Everything's different. And you can tell he acts like he doesn't know. That's why she calls him dumb dumb. They act like dumb dumb. Um, it, maybe it's just me, but she's quoting them every day. So I think that it's different. Yeah, Princess Cuckoo Bird. It's very, very hard to be the victim of crime due to somebody else's mental illness and intellect disability. I've been told we're not, we're not really supposed to call you retarded anymore. Remember, I did have a patient with Down syndrome who had the mind of a six-year-old. I respected her so much. Out of all my patients, I didn't call my other patients. I only called her. And I took her to a meeting where we had uh, elected officials, a lot of elected officials, including Congresswoman Heather Wilson. And I introduced her to the Congresswoman, not my other patients. So I don't have a problem with people with Down syndrome. I do have a problem with little old fart men who continue to hurt people and get caught and they still think they're getting away with something. And we're all like, um, I'm sorry, uh, we, what is it you think you're getting away with? And don't go around telling people, there's no real cops, it's alien and shapeshifters. She's psychic. Okay, and then you sit and watch TV and pretend that's a love life, and you think we're supposed to take you seriously? You gotta be kidding us. You gotta be kidding us with that. There's no way. There's no damn way you're taken seriously. Not by anybody. If you take him seriously, I have oceanfront property for you in Arizona for sale. If you're that stupid. Okay, so here's this. <clears throat> he's basically saying he's gaslit. Charles, Charles has used every person in our life to coerce and gaslight. So why they think that they are going to set her, put her back in jail for, a, for another fraud. Because you guys planned this when you did the first one. We're going to send her home, harass the hell out of her, do things like use DoorDash app and make sure she has no money. That'll piss her off. Take her car away from her. That'll piss her off. And then when she talks about it, we'll say she's harassing us. Yeah. You know what's funny is one of my neighbors was, like, complaining. I don't ever see police around. Everywhere I go, I never see a cop around. They don't tell some police are shitty. They don't want to help you. And I looked at him and I go, everywhere I go, there's cops. Everywhere. You want to see a cop? Come with me. They fucking follow me everywhere I go. They go, they chase after the victims, not the offender. That's why you're not seeing them. Not that you're an offender, but where you're going, your complaint is that you're seeing somebody commit a crime and nobody's around. Right? Yeah. Okay. That's because they're, they, in Tulsa, they cha they harass victims. And they give the a police report right to the offender so he can obstruct justice, destroy evidence, commit perjury, and then kill a cop. And then do nothing about it. So that's your police. One time I complimented Tulsa police on handling the active shooter situation. I was like, they did a great job on that. And I, somebody jumped on me. And it was a policeman. I'm not going to say who. It wasn't one of our guys. He goes, oh, fuck you. Listen, it was not Tulsa police. There were 20 different police agencies there. There was the feds. There was the tribals. There was the state o OHP. There was like 20 different agencies at that location, at that event, that helped stop that shooting. It was not Tulsa police. So 
I get that you're trying to be kind here and gracious. You don't need to. You don't fucking need to. They did you dirty. They owe you at least an apology. They sure as shit need to quit falling your ass around giving you a ticket. Yep, yeah, I would say so. Okay, so here's yeah. They weren't the guy. That guy was almost as mad as me. Anyways, uh, I haven't sued you. I'm out copping you. We've got. We're getting this, not you. We're getting the intel to lock these guys up, not you. We're doing it in spite of you. You know, we're pissed that you haven't helped. The best you can be in your career in law enforcement is a bitch of a sex weirdo. That's the best you can do. Your kids. What if your kids acted like you? Think about your family. Your legacy. Don't you ever think about shit like that? Before you get up and go to work and go kiss Charles Perry's ass? While he shits himself? Now you got that all over your face. So don't act like it's just a surprise that you smell bad. You do. People aren't dumb. They're not. They're angry. We, div we are paying your bills for you. We take care of you, you take care of us, and get the bad guy, damn it. What's wrong with you? You're chasing me around. I, I don't even know what to say to that. Okay, having TU do it. Or Jinx. The day before TU did it, it was Jinx. We had to have Jinx pull her over. But we caught it. So I texted my attorney, I'm like, nah, it's Jinx today. It'd be at Broken Arrow Police. I'm like, we're testifying that Charles never asked us to pull her over. And then somebody's like, well, he testified. See, how do I know that happened? He testified to something he didn't see. He didn't listen to what she said. What she said was, Charles said, have Broken Arrow police pull her over today. He said it to Calvin. Bald fat Calvin, right? Okay, so then Calvin gets on the phone, and he makes all those phone calls, doesn't he? Okay, there's another guy that I think he's a little taller. I think he's taller, I don't know. Anyways... Um, I mean, this, some of this stuff has been described to me from people that are there. Um, uh, I don't, it's some, sometimes it's, I don't fucking care. Anyways, okay, so, I mean, some of it I don't, some of it I do, some of it I don't. Okay, so, here's the thing, um, the, so, so, it, he said he's never been so humiliated. Because he testified, we've not been called and asked to pull her over. But then, everybody was like, well, wait a minute, that's not what she said. You didn't listen to what she said. It's kind of like bald fat Calvin going, we just need her to get her back over on that strip, on that pole and on a schedule, and we need her to get it back to that dealership so Mo can take that car away from her. And then, well, we can't trust anybody at that strip club. We can't trust that car dealer. He's, these people can't. Yeah, she's not quoting them. She's quoting you, dumb dumb. Okay, you got to listen to what I say because I'm very strategic in what I say. So, um, what... What he did is he testified, yeah, they haven't called us. Okay, but that's not what she said. She said Charles told somebody, have Broken Arrow police pull her over. That doesn't mean that actually happened. Sometimes once she knows, they nix it. Sometimes once, that's true. Sometimes once we find out, <clears throat> and you guys know we find out, you nix it and you don't do it. Same thing with my relatives. There's some things that we've said that you wanted them to say. Whether or not you called them and told them that, we didn't speak to that. Doesn't mean we don't know. We just didn't speak to it. What we spoke to is what you talked about doing. Right now, we're trying to put you in jail. So, we're focusing on your plans, your intentions, and what you said you wanted done. That was illegal. That would cause me an injury or a loss of some sort. We only need you to say it one time. You guys say it 20,000 times, so it's icing on the cake. Okay, so here's this. You guys repeat. You guys are Groundhog Day. Mensa Queens. I mean, we don't even... I mean, one of y'all's complain. She thinks we're a bunch of sex perverts. We're businessmen. Oh my god, wow. That is hysterical. You're not. Because I own the business, and if you own a business, you want to anticipate legal liabilities. Maybe civil, maybe criminal, maybe both. So you're smart enough to get a contract signed before you do something. You guys are a bunch of dumb, dumb freeloaders. I think everybody owes you something. So you just use our bodies against our will for your pretend romance, because you can't get the real thing. You're assholes. You're cruel. You're creepy. You're the turnoff. So you pretend. And you make a profit off of us. Right? 
Yeah. So. You don't have anything real. You don't have fucking. Nothing fucking real. Okay, so here's this. The guy basically says. So maybe he'll. Maybe, uh. What's his name? Uh, Ted. Hogan. We've not spoken to whether or not Ted has been. Dis- this has been discussed with Ted. We already know the answer to that. We're not going to speak to that. Right now, we're speaking to. You sat down, you had a meeting, you decided you'd have Ted try to coerce me since we caught you on my family, doing it to my family, right? My co-workers, role-playing bullshit. Oh, they love that. And, uh, and, uh, you know, this thing about my Ted... Uh, I was very upset with Ted because this my charges hang out there for a year and a half. I have the right to a speedy fucking trial, Ted. And there's ample reason to get this dismissed. Go in and get it dismissed. And he wouldn't do it. Well, turns out it actually worked in my favor because Matt signed the motion to dismiss. And we wanted that. That was, that was perfect. We needed that. We got it. Second of all, Dr. Russell saw me for a year and a half. An hour to two hours per visit. Twice a month. There was a couple of times it was only once a month when our schedules conflicted, but most of all, that's a long period of time for a shrink to see a person, okay? They pretty much get to know him pretty fucking well. So her determination was that I was want, I was sick and tired of you interfering in my life, sick and tired of you bothering and threatening me, sick and tired of having to deal with your unwanted attention. What combination of fucking words do I use to make the bitch go away? You're hurting me and you're hurting my family. And guess what? Everybody's worried about that, not how you feel that you got caught. You don't care how you feel that you caused me to lose my car and my home repeatedly. That my son lost his home repeatedly. Uh, That Mike's sitting, sitting in jail for a crime you committed. Almost dead. You almost killed him. You don't give a fuck about that. So we don't care how you feel. You don't care how we feel. Why should we care how you feel? Because you got caught. Call your mommy. I'm sure she'll get you a tissue. So, I mean, you're a bitch. Everybody fucking hates you. We're quoting you. You're not quoting us. We don't have leaks. You do. We can get the information. Snap of a finger. Because people hate your guts for what you're putting us through. You don't seem to get that. Cause and effect, same, different, before, after. We get it beforehand wanted her arrested on a harassment thing again and then have Ted talk her into doing something she doesn't want to do. What I think, though, is because Charles has used everybody she knows. The only people she listens to are those cops helping her. They give her this. You know, the shapeshifters and the aliens. The not real cops. Those guys. The one that told me yesterday, there's your guy. Just sit there for a minute. Just stay. Just sit. Don't move. Just stay there right now. Don't move yet. Just stay right there. Just sit there. Okay, now go. Here he comes. Right on my ass. Gave you the information already. That's illegal. It's Ill- it was illegal for him to run my tags to begin with. He's already got a wiretap order on his ass. So he's probably going to be charged with you. Uh... He's part of the, now he's part of, he's targeted. Oh, the other thing this guy said was, is that the right one? Yeah. About Fabian. The only person that hasn't co- coerced is Fabian. And they offered him 15000 20000 25000 to try to coerce me back to Texas. And I wouldn't, he wouldn't do it. And I told you he won't help you. By the way, let me say again, I live in Tulsa. I've lived in Tulsa for nine, Oklahoma for nine years. I have mail coming to me in Tulsa. I work, as you can see from a DoorDash, I work in Tulsa. Nine years. Zero ties to Texas. My ex-husband said, you can come live with me instead of sleeping in your fucking car. And I was like, I go to Texas, they will, they will kidnap me, and I'm dead. You took my sh- you take my money, so you traffic me. You want to do a false arrest and whatever, and make me sign your lie. My guy said at no time at no time did she have to lie. How dare you? 
you piece of shit. I'm going to get more intel on you. So I can lock your ass up. You don't bother her again. The more you bother me, the more we get. Notice that? Your murder frame up. The girl that did it is too fat. I thought y'all told her to lose weight. She did, but not enough. Then Charles has starved Cynthia, so she was bag of bones for a little while there. When you're deprived of something, you like, when you finally get some more, you just like, I went to town eating. So I have put on a little bit of weight, but I'm still not as big as her. I'm not fat. I'm just a little like, I got a little, a little heavier than I was. Okay, so, um, I'm, not, I'm definitely not fat, but I'm heavier than I've been in a while. I'll say, I will say that. Um, after being a bag of bones for six months, you just want to eat. You don't care how you look. Seriously, just want to eat. I didn't eat. Mr. Perry literally tried to starve me. I ate three times a week, and I took a bath through two to three times a week. Maybe. I literally didn't eat. Some days, the only thing I could afford to eat, because they jammed up my dash wrap like you just saw, is a bag of almonds at Quick Trip. It's a do It costs like a dollar, and that's all I had all day long. So, that's a human rights violation. That's what opened this case to begin with, that from these, you know, cops that aren't. Okay, so here's this. Yeah, it's the cops that got me this that don't exist, those cops. Okay, so this right here, he says, uh, um, so I slept in my car rather than going to Texas. That's how much I hate Texas, and I won't go. Because there was a purposeful availment conversation on there. Yeah. And the guy's like, this bitch slept in her car for six months and would not go to Texas. So where's the purposeful availment? What benefit has she gotten? Yeah, you make sure she has no benefit doing anything at all. So there is no jurisdiction, dumb dumb. Get an attorney that knows how to read. Yeah, get one that doesn't want to get disbarred. Um, okay, so we have all this right here. Uh, and he also said, by the way, she's almost done with her four-year college degree, so now she knows a lot more. And it's not in, like, nursing. It's actually in criminal justice. I made an A in criminal law and an A in criminal procedure class, so uh, now the guy's all, she's not going to just get talked into stuff like she would have had she not gone to college and uh, been gaslighted for nine years by everybody she knows. Now she doesn't trust anybody but the guys helping her that got her this, and that's true. The only person that has not uh, tried to mess with her is Fabian, which is interesting. He won't do it. He won't take. He won't. Co he he would not for twenty five grand would not coax me to Texas. Then you guys asked him to come up here and pretend he didn't like me, right? And he said yes to that because he can talk to me and I'm not going to get hurt. He could even look at me and go, "They wanted me to come up here and say that I don't like you, but I think you know that's not it. I think you know that's bullshit." But I couldn't get you to Texas. They'll kill you if you go to Texas. Trafficker. Make her sign the affidavit. Take that to the media and say, see, she lied. She signed our lie affidavit. The one she talked about for months and months and months. And said, I won't, oh, that's not my words, that's his words. That one, right? I wasn't supposed to know. But I do know. When I'm broke, we find out shit like that. When you contact me, we find out shit like that. You invade my privacy, they invade yours. It's like Groundhog Day with these people. Well, let's do the same thing that got us told on yesterday and the day before that. We, we, we got caught doing that. Let's just do it more. Let's do the same thing that gets us caught. Everybody. We're like, oh, this is so easy. It's not even fair. Literally. What a whack job. So then... Uh, then they sell me, get half the money... The other half of the money. They already got half up front. They're waiting to deliver to get the other half. They get their money, and within a week, I'm dead. Because I promise you, they're not going to let me pop up later and say they made me do all this against my will by starving me, by taking my car. Right? That would be illegal. Yeah, I don't know. It's so easy, it's not fair. So, Fabian, he goes, he's like, the only people that haven't done all this shit is Fabian and her, and these guys, these cops. So, she's going to listen to Fabian a little, maybe, but mostly the cops. They've been there. They're the only ones that have been there for. My family has been threatened. 
So they're off the hook. There's there's no A I don't I'm not mad at them at all. I'm mad at you for bothering them. And I said that. I feel I hope hell is hot for you. That's all I can say. They gave me that puzzle in jail. Not real cops. Gave me that they gave me that in jail. Not real cops. Yeah, but your imaginary love life by watching TV is real, huh? Yeah, you just need to be in the fruitcake farm. All of these names we got after you caused a major loss for me, right? Right? House. I mean, this we went over that. Read that on your own fucking time. So, uh, I mean, y you either get it or you don't. And if you don't get it, that's really not our problem. That's your problem. You're paying for it already in ways you've never had to before. Your millions that you, s you know, spent to cover up your crime is getting us intel. You caused me to lose even an eyelash, Calvin. Nobody's bothering you. You're bothering me. I don't know you. You're picking a fight with me every time I lose even an eyelash because of you. You take my privacy. You take my money. You take relationships away from me. You pay for it. You take up my time, you pay for it. You've been paying for it every day for nine years, every time we quote you. You cause one problem for me, you pay for it. Millions of dollars bought us intel. Millions of your dollars that you spent to cover up your crime bought us intel. You used it to chase the lie, we used it to get the truth. People like us, we're cool. Our guys can get an actual real date, so can I. While you sit there, old, rejected, shriveled up, having to watch TV and pretend, playing with your little girl fucking doll, that doll has never once solved even one problem. It creates a lot of problems, though, I hear. And we find out. What's Judge Parker's deal on this? How do I know she's involved? I do know she's involved. You take anything from me, <clears throat> it buys us intel. Because you're pissing off your leaks and you're pissing off my guys, and my guys have a lot of power. You're pissing off people that opened this up or requested that it be opened up based on human rights violations. Stepping on powerful fucking toes. I matter. Mike Neely matters. Dennis Ortiz matters. Tristan matters. The Miller family matters. Mike, Lisa, John, Neely matter, not you. Everybody's very, very, very worried about us. They don't give two fucks about you. We don't have leaks, you do. We can get information you can't. Now, get the fuck out of my phone. Get the fuck out of my life. Do what he said. Don't invade my privacy. Don't contact me or my family. And get your fucking hands out of my wallet. What he said is, no to the bribe, the buy lie money. The house. Charles is going around telling everybody, I got a house for us. You don't have to live in a car. Yeah, that's a murder trap for her. And she knows it, and we all know it. Everybody knows it. He acts like it's, you know, well, why did she just want my house? Because she doesn't want to die. She's not suicidal. We all know you'll kill her. I've heard you talking about killing me. I've heard you talking to a hitman. I've heard you go, well, we can't just kidnap her. Well, we can't kill her. We've heard you. Where are, how many times have you had that same conversation? Bunches, right, Lucius? Yeah. All right. I mean, you do what you do, but don't whine and complain and run around going, how'd she know? Where'd she find out? When you take my money, when you invade my privacy, when you contact me or my family, the longer I'm broke, the longer Mike's in jail, the more we have gotten. You spend a shit ton of money to get us intel. And that's it. Nine years of it. Every single day. And Charles wakes up. Let's do it more. Let's do it more, everybody. Let's do it more. I'm going to take your car. I'm going to take your car. I'm going I'm to continue. I, I, I'm going to continue. I, you pick me. You pick me. I, I, I'm gonna, you're going to make you go back. Oh, my God. Fuck the hell off, weirdo. Fuck the hell off, you fucking weirdo. Leave everything and everybody alone. Go home to your family. And all of you, what would you do if your children acted like you? 
Yeah. Yeah. So he said, no, she's not going to lie. No, she doesn't want your bribe. She's told you that. I'm telling you that. Give back what you took. Fix what you broke. Get the fuck out or we'll do it for you. Through the normal legal process, we'll do it fucking for you. Watch this. And then we have quoted you every day since all those names we got after March 2020. He said, her privacy is not to be invaded anymore. You don't contact her or her family in any form, directly or indirectly again. They asked you to stop that. She's not to be broke and have to ask for help again. And fucking if I do, if you fucking make me broke and have to ask for help, the answer better not be no and there better not be drama. Period. Because you'll pay when you do it. If I have to ask for help, you're going to pay. You pay by we get intel. You pissed everybody. All your leaks get pissed off. All our guys get all pissed off. And everybody wants these guys to hurry up and put you to the fucking jail. So I'm not broke anymore. And you're not harassing me anymore. And I can drive down the street and not have 20 cops follow me around. All right? And then there's a list of pullovers and illegally obtained tag information and shit like that. Yeah, you're caught, Charles. Everybody's sick and tired of you. That's what you're not getting. How sick and tired of you everybody the fuck is. You're filming my father and my fucking sister. How does this make oh, you feel? You want to put all those scratches on your arm? You want to see the scratches? You want, I got scratches. Sure I can show you the pictures right now. No, I want you to leave my family fucking alone. Keep hanging outside of it. Right, so Mr. Perry's constant, constantly demanding, we need to have a conversation. No, you do. I do not. I said no. That should take one time. We're all sick of you. You threaten, you bother, you harass, you threaten, you bother, you harass, you creep everybody out, you're pissing everybody off, and the answer is, fuck you. We don't need to talk. You need to talk. You never shut up. You're demanding a lie. You have a house. I, whatever. We all know. And I said no. I don't want to hear from you. I don't want anything to do with you. I went to great lengths to never again have to hear what you think. And nobody understands why the fuck you think I care what you think. Why the hell do you think that? Why don't you know you're caught? Why aren't you fucking embarrassed like everybody else is? Why? Why the fuck are we all have to be embarrassed by you and you're not? You just go right back at it. We don't even understand that. But we're sick of it. We quote you, you don't quote us. We can get information, you cannot. 
You have leaks, we do not. Look at the results, dumb dumb. Now, leave everybody and everything else, everybody and everything, leave everybody alone. Leave me, my family, the fuck alone. Leave everything alone. You don't, you pay. Millions of dollars you paid for your cover-up bought us Intel. So you are paying now. You haven't even been arrested yet. That's okay. I don't care. Leave me alone. I don't want proof of this. Please That's leave me alone. Hey, man. Leave women the fuck alone. When they're in public, when they're doing anything, you don't have the right to their attention. You don't have the right to step into their personal space. You don't have the right to them. Especially if they're making it very clear they don't want to be talked to, but even when they're not. Unless a woman is giving you enthusiastic and continuous body language and signs that she wants to talk to your ugly dumbass, then leave her the fuck alone. Find a date a different way. Okay, it's not clever. It's not cool. It's not cute. It's garbage. It's absolute garbage behavior. And you're a garbage person if you do it. I don't care if it's in public. It doesn't fucking matter. You don't have the right to her. And you need to leave her alone. And this is Bacon. All right. All police officers everywhere that get asked to pull me the fuck over. Read this. This is Lucky Miller. In 2019. They wanted us to get her on harassment, they said and had us getting information on her car, asked us to pull her over all the time, had us checking into allegations that turned out to be nothing. They called us constantly and took time away from real crime. In fact, what we found is that Cynthia kept her to herself, didn't bother anyone, and pretty much spent all her time trying to figure out how to fight these guys off of her. She did nothing to them at all. It became pretty clear to us fairly quickly that they were the ones doing the harassing, not her. If it were up to me, I would call her in a protective order. In fact, that is still a possibility. That's also murder motive. Why you killed him. Right? Is that why you killed him? Because he told somebody, I think Mr. Perry's a necrophiliac. And he likes sex with dead people. Because he, he doesn't, he can't, he, he does weird shit that normal living people don't like. And I'm worried he's running a fantasy through his head that he's going to kill Cynthia and have sex with her dead body, and he's not going to do that in my jurisdiction. And it wasn't long after that he was murdered. Did that scare you? Why, why are you scared, pussy? You want to be a nasty piece of shit? Then make sure everybody sees what a nasty piece of shit you are so you can take credit for your crime, right? Otherwise, you're just a boring little fucking accountant, right? Why did you take credit for your murder? Why don't you tell everybody what you really do? Because your friend testified, sir, in a deposition, that he thought that you were just this nice, really wonderful, oh, he's a great guy. Where is he now, sir? Do you know? No. When's the last time you saw him in Lubbock? It's been a while. When's the last time you saw him with his wife, Jacqueline? Even longer. Where is he? You, I thought you said you're friends and he's a great guy. You don't know? Yeah. Okay. Leave everybody the fuck alone. Leave me alone! Please! Just, just talk to me for two minutes. First, let me say that I'm happy that the lady in this video is okay. Second, let me break down what rape culture is. Rape culture is the fact that that man felt that he was entitled to some of this woman's time just because he said, let me talk to you for two minutes. Doesn't matter if it's two minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes. If she said no, no means no. Rape culture is the comments that she has on her video about how she should have just spoke to him or dressed differently. Rape culture is me taking the heat for calling out other men for their terrible behavior. Rape culture is trying to explain stuff as, oh, it's just locker room talk. No, it's not locker room talk. talk you should talk the same way wherever you are. We all know that rape is not about sex, it's about power. So for you to force yourself on somebody, even if you're just talking to them, is disgusting, dude. Leave me alone! 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 Leave me